All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to Scriptic. You may remember it as Dead Man's Phone. They did rebrand, so it is now Scriptic. We are jumping into episode three, hashtag WKJJ, who killed Jerome Jacobs. It is time for us to, to use our social media platforms to find out who killed Jerome Jacobs and to get justice for Jerome Jacobs. Jacobs. Jerome's friends launch a social media appeal that gets unexpected attention. Now, if you guys would like to help support me and play this game alongside me, you can use the link down in the description at the top of the description, as well as pinned in on top of the comments to download this game for free. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into episode three, hashtag WKJJ. All right, we're getting a phone call from Sophie. Oh, I can't wait to hear from Sophie. Sophie's like, that's my girl. I like Sophie. She's the, uh, she's our, she's basically our intelligence. Hello. How are you? Good. I'm, I'm, I've never had a bad day in my life, Sophie. Uh, <laughs> pretty good, Sophie. House things. Man, give me, give me some good look. House things, Sophie. Well, I just got us access to the rest of the apps on Jerome's phone. Including Beautiful. the social media app and the uh, live location, man. Oh, what a champion! What an absolute champion! Awesome! I owe you, Sophie. Uh, was I? Was it okay dealing with Crown Court? Look, I owe you one, Sophie. Don't so. worry about it. It's fine. That's what I do. Uh, what an absolute champion. Actually, it wasn't even that bad. I spent what felt like hours listening to their on hold music, but their playlist is pretty decent. <laughs> Is this the first time we've spoken? So how's the investigate? Look, how's the investigation going for you, Sophie? I think I need another coffee. I've been up for what feels like forty-eight hours. Jeez. I just have so much to do at the moment. I don't even know what the day of the week is right now. So I'm gonna go make another cup of coffee, and I'm gonna let you get back to your work. Uh, also, I've taken the phone off of airplane mode, so there's a chance that there'll be a few messages coming through from, you know, the morning after his fall. Just let me know how you go on and if you need anything. Right. Mm. Yeah, that's that's going to be interesting to see those messages. Is that everything? Uh, yeah, awesome. Chat soon, Sophie. Later. TTYL, bye. TTYL. All right. What do we do first? Let's go ahead and jump into the victim's phone. There's some new things. We have Mapper here and we have Snap Life. However, let's see if there's any new... There is, yeah. So there, there's some new clues that are in our our uh, our chats here. Se15, somebody give me his fucking mom's number. Oh, so, oh, so this is all just new information, new text messages. See the news. Some some Breda fell off uh, the Stafford Tower. You seen any, you seen anything, Jerome? Jerome's not picking up. I think he's dead. Somebody give him uh, give me his mom's number. Why would Lucas think that he's dead? He immediately just thinks that he's dead. That's suspicious. We did find out in episode two that like it might not be a spring block gang retaliation or attack or anything like that. But Lucas immediately coming out saying, I think he's dead is a little suspicious. Not something I would expect from Lucas because they're all friends. Now, granted, Lucas does claim to be the leader of SE15. Somebody give me his mom's number. What are you saying, Lucas? Somebody... Give me fuck mom's number. <laughs> Aaron tries to contact Jerome's family. I'm going to murder them all. I'm tooling up and I'm going. Is it possible? Is it possible that Lucas killed his friend just to start beef with Springblock? Just so that he can say, hey, I'm going to go attack. Like he, like he set it up. He framed it. It's it's weird because SE15 is not a real gang. At least, that's not you know what. Uh, um, oh shoot, what was his name? I can't remember his name. The, the guy we interrogated in the last episode, he said SE15 is not even a gang. It's just a bunch of kids being kids. A lot of talking here. I don't think I'm going to be able to scroll up. I, I spent too much time talking. Okay, I might be able to do it. So, Lucas, I'm going to murder them all. I'm tooling up and going. 
No way they're going to murder my best friend and I'm going to sit here and do nothing. You stu uh, you stupid fucking idiot. It's all your fault. I'm going to murder you. You try your best little man. So maybe this is after we interrogated Lucas and we told Lucas that he died and now Lucas is just kind of putting two and two together. I'm not sure. Um, you try your best little man. I never liked you. No one ever liked you. Little pussy. <laughs> Come on, boys. Jam. Little bitch and gonna cry. We're brothers. None of this. It's your fault. He's dead. It's your fault. Why is it Lucas's fault? Because he thought he was a big man. What are you saying, bro? Lucas attacked Springblock and Jerome got killed for it. What? The feds talked to me and I went in for an interview. Feds said Springblock boys found Jerome carrying a chrome mask that Lucas had stolen from them. So they killed Jerome as revenge. Nah, bro. Really? It's uh, it's true. I I know I did. Wait, are we, are we timed on this? Are they still talking? They're still talking. Look. Oh, I missed my chance. Look, y'all need to stop. Y'all need to stop so I can I can catch up. Just, just, uh, they're, nah. <laughs> Will's like, nah, we ain't stopping. Jerome? Who that you? Where, where are you, man? Uh, I'm sorry, bruv. Jerome, I'm sorry. All right, it stopped. Let's go up here. Look, <laughs> we got them to stop talking. Oh, they didn't stop talking. Say something. D give me two seconds. All right. So they killed Jerome as revenge. Nah, really, is it true? I know I did wrong, but what the, what they did to our brother that that's no there's no words for me. Uh, I'm heading into Spring Block tonight. I've got to do this for Jerome. I'm coming. Yeah, man, I'm in. Aaron. Yeah, I'm in. Okay, good. Ten thirty on the corner of my street by the bus stop. Bring whatever you can find. Kitchen knife, hammer. It don't matter. So that's when I was like, stop. I need to talk. I need to say something. So, um, Will's like, Jerome, Jerome, that you? Where are you, man? We can come get you. Jerome, I'm sorry. Lucas says, Jerome, I'm sorry. Or was it really you? I'm sorry, bro. Say something. So, obviously, it's not really us. Everybody knows that we're, or everybody knows that Jerome's dead, but the only person that started apologizing again is Lucas. Now, is Lucas feeling guilty that Jerome died because of what he believes Springblock did? Or is Lucas apologizing for killing Jerome. I, I just don't know yet. I don't know. But it's, it's, I feel like it's a little fishy. I, I feel like it's a little, a little shady on Lucas's part because now he's planning to go attack and I'm, I'm wondering if maybe he's using, if he, if he planned this death, if he uses, if he, if he murdered Jerome, if he pushed him off and is going to use that to, as, as a talking point to go, to go attack Springbok. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to be honest with the boys, though. I'm going to tell them that this is Detective Tongue Tied, but oh, should I tell them it's Jerome? If I tell them it's Jerome, then there's a possibility that they could tell me information, but I couldn't use any of that information. I feel, I feel like that's admissible in court. Don't know. Not a lawyer, so I really don't know, but I also feel like they might call me out on my bullshit, so <laughs> I'm going to tell them it's Detective Tongue Tied. This is Detective Tongue Tied. We have access to Jerome's phone as part of our investigation, which is legal. It is legal. Oh, shit. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Lucas. Feds took Jerome's phone. We took his phone? Yes, we did. Or we don't give a fuck who you are. Get the fuck off his phone. All right, Lucas. Look, little man. <laughs> You might be talking to talking about Aaron being a little man, but you little man. Yo, Lucas, that means Fed saw you talking about taking a knife. Nah, I didn't say nothing about no knife. <laughs> you just said bring a knife. You're making a big mistake. Spring block are not look, spring block's not responsible. Look, I know you want justice for your friend, but spring block is not responsible. We have ruled it out of our investigation. 100%. 100%. You're a fucking liar. How do you know Spring Block are not responsible? You told me they were. They were getting revenge on SE15. We were wrong. We spoke with Kane. Kane. It was Kane. That's who we interrogated last. And Kane, who's a, uh, one of the leaders of Spring Block, was like, nah, I'm not messing with no kids. Like, <laughs> that is not a priority of Spring Block. 
Kane is all about his business, and he's not going to risk his business over a little 15-year-old gripe session about who took a mask. Like, he, he, that's that's not on Kane. And he wouldn't, you know, he's not going to risk his business, his, his, his business bringing in bunches and bunches of money, you know, selling drugs. Uh, he's not going to risk that by putting a hit out on a child. Like, that's, that's, that's not going to be on Kane. Uh, no one's heard of SE15. That's also true. Like, no one's even heard of you guys. And that's that might be why Lucas is trying to attack Springblock. Like, that might be like why Lucas is uh, setting up this framed murder of Jerome. That way he can be, like, a known gang. It's possible. But I'm going to tell him that we talked to Kane. And Kane said that they didn't do it. We interrogated the leader of Springblock, Kane. Let's just say you guys aren't really on his radar. This is what I thought. None of this makes sense. Nah, Fez, Fez be lying, Aaron. But why would Springblock kill Jerome over a mask? Because they want to bring down SC, SC-15, bro. <laughs> like, like, Luke is the only one that is hard up on the fact that, like, they're SC-15. Like, he... He's got it in his head that he's the leader of this gang, even though it's just a group of friends playing around. They're just a group of friends playing gang, which is pretty dangerous in itself. All right, Lucas, stop talking about SC-15 like we're a fucking gang. We came up with that name in Mr. Graham's math class. You're not a gang member. You're not a gang member. None of us are gang members. We need to grow the fuck up. Look, Aaron... Aaron, the next drone. You better be careful. Aaron. <laughs> Luke is gonna throw you off. It's <laughs> gonna throw you off a tower, Aaron. You might want to watch what you say. <laughs> so, if it wasn't Spring Block, who was it? That's what we're trying to find out. We don't know. Uh, most likely, someone who knew him. Um, I mean, should we be honest with him? I think. I think if we're honest with him, especially if Lucas or one of the children, if one of these boys was. The culprit was the one that killed Jerome. If we're honest with him, we think we start throwing out hard facts. Like we think it's somebody that knows him. They're going to start feeling the pressure and they may break under that pressure. It's very possible. They're still very young. They might not know how to handle that kind of emotion. So look, most likely someone who knew him. But why would anyone who knows Jerome want to hurt him? It doesn't make any sense. Is there anything we can do to help? We're not going to help this fucking... Yeah, Lucas... See, now, Luke, instead of instead of helping us find the person... That's what I'm talking about. Like, Lucas is like, look, we're not helping this cop. We're not helping this pig. Lucas is trying to take the blame away. Like, he... Lucas is starting to feel the pressure. He's starting... He knows that we're coming after him. He knows... And the rest of the group, the rest of the friends are like, look, what can we do to help? And Lucas is like, no, we're not working with him. We're not talking to him. Don't be talking to him. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and we're coming. We're coming, Lucas. Oh, if this fucking pig, what does he say? This fucking pig wants to find out who killed Jerome, then we got to help. Right. I mean, Will, even though he called us a pig, like he, he's got a, a little bit of sense. Um... I'm all kinds of screwed up with, with the way that the uh, chat is messing with me. Okay, something just happened with Snap Life. Look, uh, it's, it's bouncing around. Then we got help. Nah, they can be. They can't be trusted. I can't. I can't. I can't. Folk. I can't read fast enough. And it's jumping around back and forth. I'm gonna have to just wait until they stop talking. Talking so much. All right. Now I can say something. Now I can, well, I say something, I can read something. All right. So we got help. Now they, can, they can't be trusted. That's Lucas telling you. I got an idea. We could start a campaign on a snap life. Yo, my guy Aaron, that's a sick idea. Somebody knows what happened. This way, we can reach out to the whole of Peckham and get answers. 
who killed Jerome Jacobs? Hashtag WKJJ. Yeah, nice. Will you get, uh, will you, will you got bare followers? True. Could get loads of people share it. Bro, you know Mia follows me. So Mia, whoever Mia may be an influencer follows Will. So Will's going to maybe put that out there and maybe get Mia to, to put it out there as well. Get a whole bunch of people looking at it. The Snap Life model, the Snap Life goddess, she's laying, she's fire. She got 100,000 followers. Yo, this could go viral sick. I'm going to start designing a logo. Or you guys are mad. See, Lucas again. Again, Lucas is against it. He's again, he's fighting again. He's pushing back on the idea of trying to find out who killed Jerome. Why is Lucas so hard up on trying to discourage anyone from finding out who killed J Jerome? Because it's going to lead back to him. Right? It's gotta. Lucas, could you do some graffiti around the ends? Uh, get a stencil made? That would be sick. Suppose I could. I know a guy who does t-shirts. Nice. That's blessed. Good stuff, boys. This sounds like uh, this This sounds productive. This is a smart plan. Look, it's good stuff. Good stuff. I, I like the idea. You get that, get the word out there. Somebody will come up and say something. Somebody's got some footage. Somebody heard or saw something. And we can find out. This is a great uh, outlet for you. Not too worried about the outlet as much as I am the information that we can get from this. Are you still here? <laughs> of course I'm still here. What's the Jake's name again? Tongue tie. <laughs> looks like the worst. <laughs> looks like the worst name. <laughs> it's the same Fed who interviewed me. I was creasing in the interview room. Oi, does your mom not love you or something? Look, Dr Lucas, don't don't make me don't make me you know put out there to to your little friends what really happened in that interview room. About to put you on blast, Lucas. Wow, you guys are mean. Is this the beginning of a beautiful friendship? Ah, nice one. My name is Weird. Uh, look, this this got to be uh, the beginning of a beautiful friendship. It's got to be right. Anyway, let's all get moving on the Snap Life campaign. Yes, bro, I'm I'm buzzed about this. Safe. Hashtag WKJJ. So that's gonna take a day. Obviously, we can skip it if we wanted to. Let's go ahead and look at Mom's uh, message. We've already went through all that. We're just checking to see if there's anything new. Nothing new in here. This is just uh, Jerome, Aaron saying, Jerome, pick up the phone. Need to talk to you. Have you seen the news? Jerome, please. This is Will. I think we've... I think we've already went through all... Yeah, we've already went through all this. Yeah, we're good with that. Lucas again, Jerome, you get back last night. And then I think we've been through this as well in previous episodes, 100%. Beautiful. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into Snap Life and see what we've got going on here. So Aaron's already on there. G. Lucas, Lucas on there. Will's on there, throwing out their hashtag WKJJ. What are these up here? We got um, Cherie. We got Mia. No, so now Mia is the one that they're talking about. L Mia, life's great. Let's go ahead and see what. So this is Cherie. Kitty, kitty. Now, whoo, there's Mia. Look, hold on. Hold on. Back that up. <laughs> I could have just zoomed past that like we didn't just see what we saw. Oh, Mia. Take me back. Future ex wife going on like crazy. Oh, nice little backflip. Don't know what that was all about. She's kind of like little short little reels, short little stories. The state of something. Darren. No sound there. Not that I can hear anyways. Alicia said text me. Okay, so some short little stories, but you got Lucas, we got 
Will, we got Aaron with their hashtag WKJJ. Uh, these are all yellows, so we can... Yeah, we can we can go ahead and hit those. Miss you more than you'll know, bro. Won't rest till we get you justice. Justice for Jerome Jacobs. Let's go. We want justice for our boy. Hashtag WJ, uh, WKJJ. Nobody's got any likes, though. Nobody, can, I, can I hit the like button? No, I can't. And then uh, there's Kyrian, who killed Jerome Jacobs. Hashtag WKJJ. Very good. All right. Let's go to... Do we have anything in Snap? We can skip the time. Let's check our our Yards OS to see if there's anyone that we can talk to. Nothing. We can do an interrogation. These are the clues that we've already come up with. Jerome's friends launched social media campaign. Hashtag WKJJ. All right. We can talk with intelligence on the ground and forensics. Let's go ahead and talk with Sophie. Recover live location data. Could you do that for me, Sophie? Can we use Mapper to check whether Jerome's live location was active the night of the murder? On it now. Nice. Sophie's the best. Absolute champion. It's going to take her a minute. Let's go ahead and talk with on the ground. Bring Tara in for questioning. Oh, that's right. We, we, didn't, we didn't question her in the second episode, but we can question her now. The girlfriend of Jerome. We need to speak to her as soon as possible. Sutherland will give her mom a call. Take five minutes. All right. Let's see a pic of your forensics lab then, Vikram. I want to see that pic, Vikram. Let's see that lab. It's not terribly exciting. Probably just a typical lab. One sec, tongue-tied. Oh, look at that. Vikram, absolute monster in the gym. Okay, ignore that. <laughs> Didn't mean to send that. Last night's selfie. Yo, absolute fire. Uh, Jerome had live something. I think that was from our uh, intelligence with Sophie. Is that you fired? Do you have a license for the? <laughs> Yo, Vikram, you got a license for them guns? Freaking pump. Getting that. He, he just swole. Let's go. That was meant for my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, wife's a lucky woman, Vikram. <laughs> Getting back into boxing at my local has been a while, but the muscle memory is kicking back in. When did you start boxing? I didn't have you pegged as a boxer. Nice. I'd love to get into that too. Uh, when did you start boxing, Vikram? Competed in national championships. Ooh. All through my teens. Won a few trophies as well. I actually thought about going pro, but my parents were having none of it. They were like, nah, we ain't, we're not letting you go into the ring and letting somebody punch you in the head. Not having it. Probably for the best, must say, though. After a day laboring in a lab, boxing is just the best release. So you were a boxer turned forensic scientist. Why were your parents not keen? So what's it like being in the ring? Uh, yeah, boxer turned forensic scientist. Pretty, pretty damn cool. Flexing on everybody out there, Vikram. That's what I had to tell my teenage daughters. But I'm still uncool in their eyes. What can you do? Anyway, tongue-tied. As requested. Ah, oh, a picture of his lab. Not quite as exciting. No, not nearly. I like the picture of you in the gym. That's a lot nicer picture. All right, Sophie. You can see it all on the Messenger app. Okay, cool. So I have recovered the location data and labeled it Night of Murder. You can see it all in the, uh, the Mapper app. Jerome did have live location enabled with several of his contacts. Cool. Amazing. Thanks, Sophie. Awesome stuff. Look, Sophie's, Sophie and Vikram are, are absolute champions. No problem, hun. By the way, some of his contacts 
active on Mapper that night had their location disabled. Not that, uh, so not able to see their movements might be worth looking into, as even with their location hidden, these individuals could have tracked Jerome. Maybe Lucas, for example. I bet Lucas had his had his hidden. Let's go ahead and check out the mapper. Beautiful. So recover night of the murder. You can access the night of the murder here. So let's let's go ahead and recover the night of the murder. Let's go ahead and play that. There's the stepdad. Marcus just wandering around. Nowhere near Jerome. All over the place though. Can I can I move? Oh I can. Nice. Okay. Still not oh, oh, they're moving. They're moving over here. So Jerome has arrived at the meeting point. So they're working together. Jerome's mum arrives. House party. Everybody's at the house party. Is that the I can't I can't scroll up, but I think that might be the in the top left. I think that might be the girlfriend. Okay. So we're gonna see when they leave. Who's this? A person of interest, Fugax and Bradley. I don't even know who Fugax and Bradley are. Where are they? Are they at this party? Okay, Lucas is out. Karen, Jerome's out. They're all running around. They're they're all oh my goodness, leaving house party together. That was when Jerome and and um, Marcus kind of met up. Now Jerome went back home. Okay, that was that was a lot to happen right there. They were they were running around like crazy. Is that Jerome's mom? I can't click on it. There we go. Jerome's mom wakes up for the to the news of her death. So Lucas wasn't anywhere near wasn't anywhere near uh, Jerome when he when he died. This is me rewinding it. Lucas, Lucas wasn't anywhere near Jerome when he died. None of them were. None of the friends were. Interesting. And neither was my, nobody here was. But Fugax location was disabled. Bradley's location was disabled. Interesting. Okay, so it's it's probably not Lucas. Let's go ahead. This is now this is this is uh this is live. Don't mind that. You could probably hear Stella barking barking her head off upstairs. <laughs> so who's who's this guy in the, the hoodie? Doesn't say. This one right there, right in the middle of the screen. Don't know. Then we got Raheem down there too that has location disabled as well. A lot of information that we just collected there. Let's go ahead and look at, not that. Let's look at the uh, the clues that we picked up there because we, we picked up a lot of clues there. So person of interest was definitely Fugax. Jerome's mom arrives home from work. Jerome's, Jerome arrives at the house party with Aaron and Will. New person of interest was Fugax and Bradley. Lucas and Kieran steal masks from Springblock gang and split up. Lucas drops a mask and runs past Jerome after Springblock encounter. Jerome encounters Marcus, who smacks him. Jerome leaves house party alone. Marcus in different location at the time of murder. Jerome at Stafford Tower at forensics time of murder. Jerome's mom wakes up to the news of his death. But... Also, what they didn't mention was that none of the other boys were anywhere near Jerome at the time of his murder either. None of them. Let's go to chat. Let's go back to intelligence. Identify contacts with the location. There are two mapper contacts of Jerome's who were active the night of the murder but had their location hidden. Please, can we pull their records? That was Fugax and Bradley. Can do. Sophie's on it. Let's go to on the ground. Jerome's girlfriend Tara is still grieving. Okay. 
Mother says a few more days. Oh, we ain't got a few more days. We got <laughs> we got like a couple hours. We we need we need to get her in. Drone's location on the map corroborates investigation. Sophie restored location data of the Drome's mapper app from the night of Drome's murder. It supports the findings of our investigation. But Tara not being, I mean, I don't, Tara didn't have any, any part in it either. We're just trying to get information from Tara. Maybe something that she's overheard prior to the murder. Was just having a look. The whole story's there. Amazing to see all the moving pieces. Can see Marcus was not even close to Stafford Tower at the time of Jerome's death. The data is definitely a valuable resource, but doesn't provide any new leads for us. Some contacts had their some contacts had their their location disabled. So that's well, we got Sophie looking into it. Okay. Don't jump too quickly to any conclusions here. But yes. Certainly worth us speaking to them. Let's identify those individuals and bring them in for questioning. Is it possible? Hear me out. I just thought of something. None of the boys were around. We kind of cleared that. Um, we kind of cleared it that Spring Block wasn't a part of it. Is it possible that? Jerome was suffering from some form of depression. He he was definitely acting strange prior to his death. Is it possible that through his depression, he threw himself off the tower? Is that a possibility? Is that something that needs to be looked into? It might be because we have no information of anyone else being around him other than his mother. And that's the other possibility like, could, could his mother have done that to him? Which I, I think that's farther from what actually happened. I don't think the mom had anything to do with it. At least I can't imagine. There's no way that, that Jerome's mom had anything to do with it. But it, there is a possibility that Jerome, through depression, just tossed himself off the tower. It doesn't explain all the other commotion around. Now, the commotion could have been separate, a separate incident. Like everything that everyone else heard, all that commotion about red man this and all this and that, it could have been a completely separate incident and Jerome's body was just there. I don't know. It, so much to think about. So let's identify those individuals and bring them in for questioning. Fugax and Bradley. Fugax mean anything to you, Vikram? Haha, well. You gotta know some medical terms in this line of work. In Latin, it means fleeting. But it most commonly used around proc, pro, um, fugax? Proc, procta, proctalgia fugax. <laughs> Which literally means a pain in the arse. All right. Kind of like this investigation. This could be the clue that cracks the case. I doubt it. Hmm. I'm going to just go with hmm because I <laughs> do that a lot. Hmm. Proctalgia. Fugax. Proctalgia. Fugax. Pain in the arse. All right, let's go back to the victim's phone. Let's go to Snap Life. Nothing new yet. Everybody still has the same stuff going on. Mia still still, still rocking it. What's going on? What the hell's happening? Oh, that was... Oh, we actually got noise. Oh, we, we never had noise before. Interesting. All right, uh, is there anything new in chat? Doesn't look like it. We can skip the time here, which we may end up doing. Anything new with mom? No. Anything new with air? No. All right, let's go ahead and skip WKJJ. Let's skip the, uh, the, the WKJJ chat. Yo, you seen Snap Life? Is it popping, Will? Nah. No way. 
the fuck are you two on about? This. Oh, let's go, Mia. Hashtag WKJJ. She's repping it. She's pushing. No way WKJJ is trending. With them shirts are sick. Or will them shirts are, them shirts are sick. Everyone's wearing it. Yeah, fam. My guy made them for free. And big up Aaron's design. Lucas. Saw your tags around ends. They're fire. Man, Jerome would be so gassed if he could see this. Can't believe this thing's actually going viral. So what do we do now, Aaron? Keep feeding the beast, bro. More posts. More hashtag WKJJ. Who knows what clues we find might... Uh, who knows what clues we f might find on Snap Life. Karen and Lucas are, are down with it. That's cool. My thing is, they've got Mia repping this, right? But you have to remember, she's an influencer for a reason. Is she repping this to gain attention? Is she repping this to gain her own, uh, to, to grow her own brand? Or is she doing this because she actually cares about Jerome Jacobs and actually trying to get some, some justice for Jerome? I'm sure we'll find out, but I have a feeling... I have a feeling that Mia's not doing it just for Jerome. I have a feeling she's doing it for her own self-interest. Maybe, maybe not, but we, I'm sure we'll see. I'm sure we'll find out. Let's see. Oh, we already just, we were just in there. I'm trying to go back to Yards. No, no, no. I want to go to uh, Snap Life. Let's see what's going on with Snap Life. Okay, so there's another uh, Mia. Life's great. Want justice for Jerome Jacobs, a South London boy who was thrown off the tower block. His friends and family want answers. Show your support. Hashtag WKJJ. Justice for Jerome. She, her likes are just skyrocketing. Is she doing this for likes or is she doing this for Jerome? That that's what's interesting. We don't know. I, I thought maybe the, I thought maybe those little reels at the top would going to change, but they didn't. Uh, Kariz. Got a picture of Jerome there with some flowers. Fuck, I heard you got spiked at a party. Hmm? Wasn't that a party? I mean, he was at a party, but then not at a party. You got Greg Dirac. Repping the shirt. 116 likes. Cherie. Someone said it could, uh, someone said it could be his dad. Now, see, now, now they're, see, that's the other thing, too, is like, you get all these, you get all this social media stuff going on, everybody starts throwing in their theories, Everybody starts throwing in those conspiracies. We've already ruled out Marcus. But obviously people are going to be throwing that around. They're going to be like, yo, I think it was his dad. That's already been ruled out. But they're getting those likes. And you know that's the reason they're doing it. Seeing this everywhere for justice for Jerome. Yes, justice for Jerome. And these are the uh, these are the, the graffitis that Luke has been putting up. James Dane Caster repping the shirt. Uh, Jan Janalyn, Janalyn, repping the shirt. We want answers. Hashtag WKJJ, certified Malik. Yaz, or Jazz, Jazz or Yaz. Uh, yes, we're angry. Yes, we want answers. Yes, we want justice. Now, the other thing is, too, is like, how many of these people actually know Jerome? Now, you don't need to know Jerome to get justice for Jerome or to, or to push for justice for Jerome. But again, it makes me wonder how many of these people are doing it for Jerome or how many of them are doing it for their own growth, like their own snap life, like trying to grow their brand. You can look at Mia's. Mia's likes are still climbing, still heavily, heavily climbing. Let's go to Mapper. Let's see if there's anything new going on. Marcus is with mom. Nothing really new standing out. interesting let's go back to yards chat okay we got some forensic stuff here any chance jerome was spiked we heard that jerome might have been spiked at a party can you check on that oh spike meaning maybe drunk maybe he maybe somebody spiked his spiked his kool-aid right spiked spiked the uh the juice you never know 
Maybe they spiked his beer or whatever, like whatever he was drinking, soda, who knows. Sure, I already did the usual blood work, but no harm being thorough. Check check to see if there's any drugs in, in his in his in his drinks. Okay. So we asked Sophie about the uh the two contacts on Mapper. Can do. So we have Bradley North, a resident of Leeds, 16 years old, and then there's Fugax. Bit of a mystery, I'm afraid. Couldn't find a real name or address, but Bradley's records have been linked to the ground team. That's plenty. Thanks, Sophie. Fugax, Fugax could be a key, seeing how we don't know anything about Fugax. He's definitely mysterious, right? And Sophie said that he was a mystery as well, and that kind of intrigues me. <laughs> of course, but if you see anything else on Jerome's phone, defo let me know. Let's go to the ground. Bring in Bradley for questioning, please. Lives in Leeds. A little 16-year-old. Sure. The individual in question lives in Leeds. I just said that. Yes, bring in Bradley now. Get West Yorkshire Police to do it. Oh, he's out of jurisdiction. Um... The individual in question lives in Leeds. Do you want us? Uh, do you want us on this now? Get West Yorkshire Police to do it. Do I? Do we want him now? I'm, I'm just gonna say yeah. Let's get him now. I want you and McGuire to go to Leeds and pick up Bradley now. Get West Yorkshire Police to find Bradley and take him to Leeds District Police Headquarters. We'll interview him remotely via yard. Actually, let's do that. We can use McGuire and Bronson to do something else. And we'll have Yorkshire police take care of Bradley, and then we can we'll remote in. Like we, I mean, I've been remoting in with everybody anyway, so let's do that. I like that. And then Bronson and McGuire can do something else. Good solution. Yep. I'll get them on it. It's gonna take thirty minutes, no problem. Um, nothing with Sophie yet, so. Let's just check with the victim's phone. Let's go back to Snap Life. She's up to 21,000 now. That's still growing. I don't see anything else new in here. I don't think there's going to be anything else new in here. Oh, I've got some questions. Your campaign has already brought some uh, brought up some leads if I can ask a question. Perfect. Already. That's sick. Lucas ain't gonna be ain't saying nothing. <laughs> Was Jerome spiked? Does Fugax mean anything to you? Was Jerome's dad involved? Look, we already know Jerome's dad wasn't involved, but does Fugax mean anything to you? I think that's more important. Fugax or if Jerome was spiked or not. Fu what? Man's just chatting words now. Is that the next Marvel villain? Come back to us when you start making sense in a day. Okay. Sorry, I may have asked the wrong question. Let's go ahead and go to forensics an hour, 30 minutes. Let's go ahead and get, mm, I want this, I want the forensics, it's, I want this stuff now. I want the, 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 the report on whether he was spiked or not in now. Okay. Ran all the tests. And unless it's some kind of designer drug new to science, the kid's clean. So he didn't have any unknown, not unknown, but he didn't have any, like, drugs in his system. So nobody spiked his drink. So me asking the group questions about Fugax was the right path. It, at least I think it was. Because I found out about the drugs from forensics. I didn't even need to ask the kids about the drugs. And we already know that Jerome didn't have anything to do with the murder. Or not Jerome, but we know that Jerome's dad, Marcus, didn't have anything to do with the murder. So that wasn't a question I needed to ask. I definitely needed to ask the food guy's question. Thanks for double checking, checking Vikram. Sounds like we can cross that off the list. That's an interesting theory. Uh, thanks for double checking Vikram. I, I appreciate it. Jim Jam Champion. that was it all right let's go to the ground let's get 
Let's get uh, uh, Bradley in here. What was his name? Bradley North or something? I'll get them on now. I just spoke with Leeds officers. They visited the address, but apparently Bradley North no longer lives there for the last year or so. A few neighbors believe the mother, Winnie North, took the kids to live with her sister, but not sure where. So he hasn't been there for the last year or so, but he was fucking, <laughs> he was fucking around in the city during the, during the night. He was there, wasn't he? I mean, he had his, he had his location turned off. But, but he was there, right? Maybe not. I don't know. It's interesting. I see. We'll uh, we'll get intelligence on to investigate the North family current address. We'll find out where he's at. Sophie, I need help. We had Leeds officer visit Bradley's address. Apparently, Bradley North and his family have not resided there for several or for some years. Possibly living with an aunt now. Please identify their current address. I appreciate that, Sophie. Oh damn! <laughs> Probably gonna be harder. Than just being able to find them. For, probably probably going to be difficult trying to find them now. I'll get a few people on it. And let you know when something comes up. Alright. Cheers. What do we do now? On the ground? Nothing there. Do we have nothing there? Forensics? Nothing there. Alright. Let's go back to the phone. Maybe we can talk to the W... Yes, let's go ahead and skip this. 24 hours. Wow, this is really getting mad. Just got a private message on Snap Life from a BBO news reporter. Hi there, I am a reporter with BBO News. We're doing a feature on the death of Jerome Jacobs, and we'd love to talk to you about the WKJJ campaign. Are you free this afternoon for a chat? Best. Anushka. Mad bro, I guess I should talk to her? Yeah, for sure, man. You don't mention my name. <laughs> Got enough feds watching me. <laughs> Tongue-tied. Oh, Kieran. Hello, tongue-tied. Hello, tongue Hello, Kieran. I'm going to message her back, I think. Say I'm for... Oh, what is this? Anushka. Is this the lead detective working on the Jerome Jacobs case? Yes, my name's Tongue Tied. Yes, it is. Hi there, this is Anushka, and I'm a reporter with BBO News. We're doing a piece on the Jerome Jacobs murder. You might not be aware, but a social media campaign demanding answers for Jerome's murder has just gone viral I'm on aware. Snap Life. I'm and aware. I'm sure you're very busy. But could very Scotland busy. Yard give us a statement on the status of the investigation? I'm 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 not I'm not the, the news person. I don't think I'm allowed to give statements. You might want to reach out to Sutherland. I don't think I'm allowed to. I also don't want to give you information that we don't currently know yet. Like, I don't want to give you information that... It, it, it's still it's still an, an investigation in, in, in progress, and I can't give you any inf information until we've solved said investigation. No comment. There have been significant developments. We have no significant leads. <laughs> I can look. There, we've we've got we've been we've we've discovered some significant developments. We know who it's not, but we don't know who it is, <laughs> and, that, and that's all okay. we know. Thanks. That was it. All I had to say was we've got some significant developments in the story. I mean, we we did have multiple suspects that we've basically ruled out. That's about it. So Aaron says, I'm going to message her back, I think. Say I'm free to talk now. Do it. And they did that, I'm guessing. Is there any BB News report that came out? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Is there anything we can do in chat? Intelligence. Stuck again, Soph. I'm still a bit unsure about what to look for at Jerome's phone. Any thought? No, no, no. I'm not, I'm not asking for help. I'm good. I don't need to... I don't need any help. Let's go to Snap Life. Things are oh, there there are some more things kicking off. Toby Anderson. Or Toby 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 Anders. He's Fugax. 
Hashtag WKJJ. Fugax. Oh, we found you, Toby. Found you, Toby Anders. Yo, Jazz is, uh, or Yaz is, uh, picture there that that's looking dope made this for you you deserve better i won't stop fighting rosie drums history grades were insane was he bribing mr hack uh mr harker and shit got real oh you trying you you really throwing out some 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 uh conspiracies got aaron with the boys hashtag wkjj bunch of people with the hashtags I don't see anything with Mia, though. Nothing recent with Mia. I wonder why. Let's talk with... I know we got some stuff going on with intelligence. Fugax is Toby.Anders. Profile picture is Fugax. Nice spot. Jim, Jim, champion, Jim, genius. Let's go ahead and skip that because that's really the only thing we can do at this point in time. So Toby Anderson, Mr. Anderson, East Dulwich resident, also attends the same school as Jerome, 16 years old. His deets are with the ground team now. Be sure to ask him if it's pronounced Fugax or Fugax. <laughs> Fugax or Bug axe. Will do. Look, cheers. Cheers for this, Sophie. Appreciate it. Let's go ahead and get the ground team on it. Bring Toby in for questioning right now. He's a schoolmate of Jerome, and he lives in East Dulwich resident on it. Ten minutes. Skipping that now. We've got him. He's in inter interview room A, and we are going to go interview him now. Let's go ahead and interrogate Toby Anderson. There you are. This interview is being recorded at New Scotland Yard, London. I'm DCI Michael Sutherland, and Detective Constable Tongue Tied is joining us via Yard Link. Toby, could you give us your full name? Toby Anderson. Thank you. And your date of birth? September 2nd, 2005. Tell us about Jerome's murder. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go straight to the point. So straight to it. Tell us how you murdered Jerome, Fugax. <laughs> how do you know Jerome? Why is the uh, why is your name Fugax on Jerome's phone? Let's ask him how he knows Jerome. Thanks, Toby. Please tell us about your relationship with Jerome. We both go to the same school, Peckham Academy. I'm in a different year to him, but we know each other. Sometimes play football together. I always thought Jerome was sound. Honestly, couldn't believe it when I heard. You know, Jerome of all people. It's madness. Why is your name Fugax on Jerome's phone? Do you use Mapper? Tell us about Jerome's... Why is your name Fugax? And is it Fugax or is it Fugax? Fugax. What? Oh, you don't, don't, don't play stupid with me, Fugax. That's just my gamer tag. Me and Jerome used to play a lot of Fortnite last year. It's kind of my brand. So it's just this gamer thing. Sounds cool, doesn't it? I don't know. So you use Mapper? And why was your why was your location turned off, Toby? Yeah, yeah, I use that. It's mad, isn't it? You can properly watch people, like where they're going. I think it's a bit weird, to be honest. Why is your location disabled? Why is your location disabled, Fugax? I don't like people seeing where I am. <laughs> I feel that. I feel that. It's fun to watch people on there, you know, but don't like people watching me. That's creepy. <laughs> I don't mind creeping on other people. I just don't like it when people creep on me. You were online that night? Oh, were you? Uh, where were you that night? Hmm. Let's see where he was. I don't think I don't think he did anything to Jerome though. Toby's eyes light up in excitement. You guys think I was involved? Wait, is this why you brought me in? That's mad, bro. Man, I can't I cannot wait to tell my mates this. 
So what? Am I like proper murder suspect? Don't get carried away, Toby. We just need to establish your location that night. That's mad. Okay, let me think. Yep. I know what I was doing that night. Went round my girls. I know because I remember hearing about the Stafford Tower fall next morning at breakfast. Her parents told us. Because we didn't know it was Jerome then. You can ask them. So he was with his girlfriend and his girlfriend's parents then, basically. And I think that's the clue that we just picked up. Okay, thanks. She was in a real bad mood that night, as I remember, my girl. Math's teacher, Mr. Graham, shouted at her in class, made her cry. Why he asked to act like some red man, I don't know. Red man, you say? Why'd you say? What would what, you say? Red man? Repeat what you just said. Toby looks frightened. About Mr. Graham? About the red man? Oh. I don't know. It's just a new word. People have been saying lately. What does it mean, Toby? I don't know. You just say you don't know what it means? Like someone crazy, like someone scary. Like a monster. Yeah, I guess. Like a monster. When did you hear this? Thank you. You may leave. Jerome said red man before he died. So, I was getting ready to say maybe he was on drugs, but we already did a a tox screening. So, he wasn't on drugs. So, I was thinking like maybe he was on drugs and he hallucinated, but that I don't think that's the case because Vikram did a tox screening, so that that's not the case. But why would... Graham, why would they call Graham Redman? When when did you hear this? When was the first time you heard this, Toby? Just the other day. It's a new word. Before or after Jerome's death, did you hear this? Now nah, I don't know. Maybe after? What's going on here? Who said it? Nothing you may leave. Jerome said red man before he died. Yeah, Jerome. But I don't... Toby said red... Toby said Graham was red man. Jerome said red man before he died. But if it was Graham, why wouldn't Jerome just say Graham? Why would he say red man? If he doesn't know when he heard it, he probably doesn't know who he heard it from. I'm going to just let him know. Jerome's... Jerome... Witnesses heard Jerome shout red man before he was thrown from Stafford Tower. So he shakes his head baffled. You can go now, Toby. Thank you for your help. You know. If I think about it. People weren't saying that word before Jerome died. They only, they started saying it afterwards. I've only heard it since. Toby exits interview room A. <laughs> interview room A. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Let's go ahead and talk with on the ground. Follow up on Toby's alibi with the, uh, the girlfriend and the parents. I did, yes. Spoke with his parents and his girlfriend's parents. They both confirm he stayed at hers that night. All right, so Toby's out of quest, out of the question. Beautiful. Let's see what's going on with Snap Life. Nothing new there. Let's. Uh, I'm sure we can talk with WKJJ. Good, 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 good. Good job with BBO. Your campaign has thrown up some new leads. Did did something go on with BBO? I don't see anything on BBO. Nothing yet. Nothing about Jerome, anyways. All right. So look, your campaign has thrown up some new leads. That was that. That, that we we appreciate it. You guys are doing good. Keep it up. Nice. Go ahead. Did Jerome have a dodgy deal with a teacher? 
We've read that Jerome's grades might have been inflated by his history teacher, Mr. Harker. Might have led to some foul play. Okay, one, that's insane. Two, it's Mr. Parker, not Mr. Harker. Three, Parker's not even been at school this year. And four, Jerome didn't need to bribe a teacher to do well. He just did well at everything. More than we could say for this fool. True that. You're like, rude. <laughs> see if there's anything we can talk with. Intelligence, nothing. Nothing on the ground. Nothing in forensics. Nothing in the interview room, which we kind of already knew. Let's go back to Snap Life. Nothing new here. Okay. Mapper. Is there anything new on Mapper? Doesn't look like it. Maybe there's something new in the recovery? I don't think so. No. Okay. Let's go ahead and skip the time for WKJJ. Oh, BBO. Tire Block Victims Campaign goes viral. Let's check it out. Where is it at? Where is it at? There it is. Tire Block Victims Snap Life Appeal goes viral. By Anush, uh, Anushka Nair. A teenage boy was murdered in South London last week, thrown from the 12th floor of his own tower block. This week, a social media campaign has gone viral asking one question, who killed Jerome Jacobs? Jerome, 16, was by all accounts a remarkable young man, someone who excelled at whatever he set his sights on, an aspiring spoken word artist and a creative writer active in both his school's football team and chess club. You couldn't not like him. He did well in everything, but he also made you do better just by being around him, always lifting others up. Aaron Daniels, a schoolmate of Jerome's and one of his closest friends, launched the hashtag WKJJ campaign in the wake of Jerome's death with friends Kieran Stevens, Lucas Grant, and Will Evans. So <laughs> Aaron, Aaron, Aaron uh, shouted out Lucas's name anyways, even though Lucas is like, don't do that. Oh, shit's going off crazy. Why 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 is that doing that? It's okay. Why is <laughs> All right, we'll read it from right. We wanted answers and no one had given us any, so we decided to take the matter in our own hands and reach out to the whole community. Aaron and his friends built the WKJJ campaign from the ground up, designing the logo, printing t-shirts, and spreading stencils and stickers around Peckham area. What started as a local appeal has now captured the hearts and minds of, of the capital. Hashtag WKJJ is currently the top trending hashtag in London. The campaign has attracted high profile supporters from influencer Mia Life's Great to rapper Drill Minister. So there's Mia, Lifescape, with rep in the shirt. We never expected so many people to get behind it, Aaron said. I think it shows that everyone wants justice for Jerome, not just his family and friends. Despite this publicity, the police investigation in Jerome's murder has made slow progress. Look, rude, I said we were making really good progress. Scotland Yard detective Tongue Tied said there had been significant developments in the investigation, but declined to comment further. I was never asked any more questions. No arrests have been made. As detectives continue to make sense of Jerome's murder, Aaron is hopeful that new leads will arise from their social media campaign. The whole of London's listening now. Someone out there knows who is responsible, and they have to do now is speak up. Very interesting. Anything new with Snap Life? No. Let's go back and skip. Maybe there's something in Yards. Chat, yes, on the ground. Have you seen the BBO News report? It's an editorial piece on Jerome murder, Jerome's murder and grassroots campaign that has just gone viral. I have indeed. It's good news, boys. 
Top Brass have just called in. The Jerome Jacobs investigation will be getting special dispensation a, and a guarantee of continued funding. Let's go. That's that's great. That is good news. That is good news. Apparently, this report rubbed the, the right people the wrong way. And now Scotland Yard actually want this thing solved. That's awesome. Great news. All thanks to WKJJ campaign. Fantastic results. Look, it's great news. I think it definitely has to do with the WKJJ campaign because we didn't really push that and it didn't gain this attraction, this this attention without it. So I'm going to I'm going to give credit where credit's due. It's all thanks to Jerome's friends. I'm, I'm going to give credit where credit's due. I, I'm not going to take all the credit. And Southern Lynn agrees. It, it really is. It really is. Police work is always a bottle for resources. Great to know this investigation is secure. Beautiful. Let's go back to the group. Let's go ahead and skip that. Aaron just uh, read the BBO news article. Well done. Yeah, fam. Can't believe it. It's sick. Fire. Thanks, guys. You good, bro? Yeah. Yeah. It's just Jerome's mom just called me. His funeral's tomorrow. Oh, that's sad. You only forgot about the funeral. Yeah, she told me to tell you guys. 1 p.m., St. Matthew's Church. Um, Aaron, don't worry. You can borrow my bro's suit, Karen. It's calm. Thanks. <laughs> bro, you should feel blessed. We put Jerome on BB New BBO News. Whole country seeing this now. No way we're not going to get justice for our boy. I feel you, man. Just a bit tired is all. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Safe. SN. Let's see if there's anything new in Snap Life. No. Anything new on Yards OS? No. All right. Let's go ahead and go to the chat. Let's. Is there anything new with mom? I don't think so. Let's go ahead and skip. How did I get scrolled all the way up there? How did that happen? Let's go ahead and skip that 24 hours. Not gonna lie. Seeing them put Jerome in the ground like that. And Jerome's mom crying. So this is after the funeral. Screaming. I don't know. Just can't get to sleep. Anyone there? Okay, Will's here. We hear you, man. Can't get to sleep. Not so many WKJJ posts on Snap Life at the moment. Oh, it's starting to calm down, is it? What do you think we should do, Aaron? It was just the way she was screaming, you know? Can't get to sleep. All right, let's look at Snap Life. Real quick, see if there's anything new. Yep, yep, yep. So they're not they're not hashtagging WKJJ anymore. None of them are. Well, there's one. There's one WKJJ, uh, Martin Wilkins, but zero likes. So nobody's even nobody's looking for it. Nobody's following it. 
Uh, Janalin, WKJJ, but zero likes. We fear rejection, one attention, crave affection, and dream of perfection. I don't see anything from Mia. Let's see if there's anything we can talk with chat. Nothing. It's going to go back to WKJJ. Skip for the day. Mia Life's Great added a new post. Let's go ahead and check out the new post on Snap Life. And she's not repping the WKJJ anymore. So straight to this fluffy one. In, uh, this this fluffy one is my new favorite. Save the rhinos, wildlife conservation. So she went from one, you know, I guess we can call it like one justice, you know, social justice type thing to another. Like she's just doing it for clout. She literally just did it for clout. She she saw the potential of gaining more followers or whatever. She saw that potential. She repped it. She hashtagged it. She got the likes from it. And now she's like, we need to save the rhinos. She 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 didn't care about the movement at all. She went from one movement to another. Now she's on this movement about the rhinos and the conservation of wildlife. No shits given. She did did not care about about Jerome Jacobs at all. She only cared about the clout, which is pathetic. Pathetic, Mia. Um, let's go. I'm sure we have something to talk. No, nothing in chat. The only thing we got, we got the clue was that WKJJ campaign no longer trending. Now it's about the wildlife conservation. Let's go and skip the time. Yo, guys. Mia's got a new post on Snap Life. Nothing to do about Jerome Jacobs. Save the rhinos. The fuck's this bitch talking about? <laughs> right, Lucas. I'm right there with you, Lucas. What happened to justice for Jerome? I guess she moved on. Bitch only ever posted because WKJJ was trending. Right, she did it for clout. She did it for clout. She was a clout chaser. It's not trending anymore. We don't need her. We can keep WKJJ going. I can print more t-shirts. Aaron says it's over. <clears throat> it's just a black boy dead in Peckham. You forgot that, didn't you? You thought this was something else. This ain't important, man. Don't say that, Aaron. No. It means nothing. Nothing. Sooner you wake up to that, the easier this will all be. Aaron left the group. Someone put Aaron back in the group. Who's admin? Jerome. Jerome was admin. So add, add participants, add Aaron W. Add participants, add Aaron. And then, is it Aaron W or Aaron? Look, we, we, we'll find out. I'm pretty sure it's just Aaron. Or we should ask. Can you put Aaron back on the group? Let's ask and just make sure. Is it Aaron W or, or just Aaron? It's just Aaron. I don't know who Aaron W is. Should we add them both? Can I can I add them both? If I if I add Aaron W, is that gonna screw things? <laughs> this is gonna screw everything up. I don't know who Aaron W is. I kind of want to add Aaron W, but I don't want it to mess everything up. Man, what do I do? Let's just add Aaron. Can I add Aaron W too? Please don't leave the group. Just leave me alone, okay? Breaking news. Naturalist Charles. Charles something 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 about Naturalist Charles uh, Wallace dies at 99. So that's 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 the the top stories now. It's, it has nothing to do with Jerome Jacobs. It's about a 99 year old that that died. 
Charles Wallace, the naturalist and broadcaster best known for his programs on BBO, has died at age 99. Wallace had been presenting nature programs on the BBO since the airing of Our Wonderful World in 1952 and continued to do so until his last years. Wallace produced over 300 documentaries over the course of his career. There has been an outpouring of grief and love for uh, for following his death. Wallace has a uh, was a highly respected figure throughout Britain, with a poll last year placing him as the most beloved celebrity in the country. In a statement, his daughter Anne said, "Today is a sad day, but let's remember the incredible life my dad lived. He will live on forever through his work." No, nothing, nothing about Jerome Jacobs. No, nothing. Uh, I'm sorry, boys. I wish WKJJ had been more useful, too. Your campaign is helping to secure funding. They don't, they, they're they not going to care about that. They're going to be like, oh, great. So the, w, the, the campaign is helping you make money, but, it, you know, who gives a shit? Like, it's not helping bring back our boy. It's not helping to, to bring justice. Um, look, I, I, I'm... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, boys. No one should have to go through what you're going through. Like, that's that's the truth. Karen changed the subject to SE15. So it's no longer WKJJ anymore. So it's like they're giving up, too. They hit a little wall. Now they're giving up. They can't be doing that. Is there any new photos? Doesn't look like there's any new photos. Nothing we haven't already seen. Let's go and uh, let's go back to Yards OS and see if we can chat to on the ground. So, what new toys do we get with the uh, this special funding? Bastards! Oh, they pulled the funding, didn't they? Just received a call from the superintendent. The funding pledge has been cut. For what? Because it's not a top story? Because it's not trending on Snap Life? There's been a, there's been a spate of knife crime over the weekend. Three new murders. And well, the Jerome Jacobs story has fallen off the news cycle. Fucking hell. So what does that mean for our investigation? It means we're going to have to make tough decisions. For what? The superintendent has given us an ultimatum. Either the whole team takes a salary cut, or Scotland Yard frees funding to these new to these new murder investigations. That's three people stabbed to death only days ago. How on earth can we halt funding to new murder investigations? It's not what anybody wants. Look, Detective Tongue Tied. What do you think? Look, the easy answer is take a salary cut. I'm not... I mean, we take a salary cut. That way we can continue our investigation with um, Jerome Jacobs and they still have some money and funding to to fund the the new investigations, new knife knife uh, murders and stabbings and stuff. So that's the easy. And probably the more the most moral and ethical thing to do is to take a a salary cut until we can uh, find justice for Jerome. Right. I mean, that's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to take that salary cut. We have to take a salary cut. It's the right thing to do. Agreed. Sutherland agreed. But now I'm kind of curious, like, what would happen <laughs> if we were be like, oh, you know, fuck the other murders. We're dealing with Jerome. We're, we're going to cut. We're going to freeze spending for the other three sa- stabbing murders. And we're only going to focus on us. I'm, I'm kind of curious as to what would happen if we did that instead. So look, where do we go from here? Oh, B Drilla added a new post. Who's B Drilla? Added a new post on Snap Life. Oh. 
What's this? What was that? Ten. What was that? What was that all about, B Drilla? Oh, it's the start of episode four. Now, did, did Drilla have something to do with Jerome Jacobs? I don't know. The the jacket there kind of looks like the same jacket that Lucas is wearing in his profile picture. Just just throwing that out there. <laughs> I don't think it was it was Lucas. He wasn't anywhere near Jerome when it happened. Um, however, it doesn't mean that he didn't put his phone at home and then leave and left his phone at home because then it wouldn't track his movements. Then he went back to Jerome. I don't know. I according to the current clues and investigation, it doesn't, it's not pointing fingers at Lucas. However, Lucas's behavior is definitely suspicious. And that jacket kind of looks like Lucas's jacket. Not going to lie, but whoever Drilla is, I'm sure we'll find out in, in the next episode. Again, if you guys would like to support me and play along, you can use the download link that I have linked in the top of the description, as well as the top of uh, the pinned in the top of the comments. You can use that that download that link to download this game for free. You can play along with me. If you don't want to do that, you can just you know watch my videos because I'm going to cover it, and you can watch these walkthroughs and. You can you can you can go through this in, in investigation with me. And if you would have done this investigation differently, let me know in the comments what you would have done differently. However, if you're on the same page as me, who do you think killed Jerome Jacobs? Or do you think that it was nobody? Do you think that Jerome Jacobs was suffering from some crippling depression and ended his own? Maybe he threw himself off the tower. We don't know yet. I'm sure we're going to find out more information. What do you think of Maya? The fact that she was just, I mean, in my opinion, she was using the clout to gain more attention for her own. I mean, she didn't care about Jerome Jacobs. Let me, let me know what you guys think about Maya. If you haven't already, hit that like button for this video if you enjoyed it. If not, let me know what I could have done better in the comments. I'm, I'm, here, for, I'm here for you guys, and I want to make sure that you guys are enjoying this content. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and join the Tethered. As always, thanks for watching. Love you all, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.